I have tried filament recently, and dude, filament is is really good. Like yeah. honestly, I was like, okay, another admin panel and everything. But I I tried that that thing here on stream, and it's just mind blowing. You know, you know that feeling when you first try live wire. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that for admin panels. It's kind of the okay. same thing. So this is interesting. So we have a couple courses about filament on Laracast that I didn't do. So I'm going to tell you the truth, though, and I bet I represent many people. And maybe this is a marketing issue with the filament team. I'm going to be honest with you, Nuno. I don't know what filament is. Like, I don't, I don't know. I've never tried it. I don't, I hear admin panel. Like, is it one of those, uh, is it like a, an alternative to Nova? I genuinely don't know what it is. Mm. And so maybe, um, I wonder if that's a marketing thing with them. Because I am very into this community and it's just, I, I don't know. And that, I think yeah. it's just a, an issue of like, there's just so much stuff all the time being thrown at you across the board and you yeah. can't learn everything. And so you have people where it's like, okay, there's this live wire thing and then there's inertia two and then there's this yeah. and then there's all this tooling and everyone feels so overwhelmed by how much you're expected to know at this point. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what filament is. Like so I think, I think ahead. you should do something. I think you should literally find some time and just stream with filament people instructing you to use filament because I filament is just just for info. Filament at this point is just much more than an admin panel, okay? And you can do a lot of things, which is, they are difficult to explain here um, right now. But I feel like you should just try it a little bit and just build a website for something that displays a dynamic list or whatever. And you will just walk through the features, and I think you will be mind blowing because it's absolutely awesome. Um, okay, so teach me, like, what are the prerequisites? Like, do I have to use a specific tool to use filament? Does it no, depend just on Laravel. Live wire just, or, exactly, so Laravel. Lot okay, it, it's it's literally Laravel. So you do Laravel new whatever, and then you do mm -hmm. a composer required filament, and that's it, and you are good to go. And they give you like some t uh, elements or text inputs and everything. Um, just like Nova does, but mm -hmm. if you want to customize those inputs, you use regular live wire. You okay. Know? So is um, the idea that I'm defining this stuff from the server side, how these like forms and such look, is that the idea? Exactly. Exactly okay. that. Okay. Uh, okay. so everything okay. is like defined at, at server level and all of the code, it's literally like just chained methods on those inputs. And what it's funny is that, you know, I feel like the filament team, something they do very well is that they have built this, let's call it admin panel, but for actually daily work for the kind of applications people ask. So you find things like, you know, a uh, uh, tap text editor or reach editor, you will find file uploads and file uploads, they are chunkable, they just work. And they, I feel like they did very good this thing, which is, if you want to build a website like right now with a back office, with a front office, and um, if you want something that really just works for the daily things, you can use filament. You know what I mean? Very um, cool. Yeah.